and it's just so corrupt. So incredibly corrupt. And just the public is so naive and has no idea. But our troops were sent over there out of all the reasons to addict them to heroin. It's so evil. And yeah, I meet the young troops now, the special forces guys that are out. And I mean, they're either totally awake and know what's going on and have health problems from what the injections and the rest of it, or they are whacked out of their minds. And I'll say, let me guess, they put you on opiates. Yeah, they ordered us to take them. And so now you're on drugs. You know, it, they are just soft killing them left and right. Dave in Arizona, you're on the air. Go ahead. we got about a minute and a half. Thank you very much for having me, Alex. Uh, my original topic was uh, going back to what Diamond and Silk were talking about regarding Trump. I just wanted to touch upon that briefly, but listening to the uh, conversations that you've been having just in the last hour and from the other callers, I feel compelled to address those as well. Just briefly on Trump, uh, there is actually a track record pri well prior to his uh, running for the presidential uh, you know, uh, uh, seat uh, as far as his track record for uh, caring for uh, the American people. He had a program called Trump University, and the focus of that program was financial literacy to be able to uh, allow the American people to be able to uh, understand. I know, and he went after Obama on the legitimacy issue, and he did fight some of that stuff, yeah. Yeah, um, I want to touch upon that, and also just briefly on the uh, you know success of his projects as a businessman. Yes, he's had his failures, but he also has a track record of... Well, I mean, look, look, uh, when they say he's declared bankruptcy four times, owning 100-plus subsidiaries, well, when a business goes under, that's what you do, is you have a corporation for that business, so if it fails, you just shut it down. So, again, they are preying on ignorance when they say he's a failure because he's declared bankruptcy four times. That's what you're supposed to do with a new venture. If it fails, you don't connect it to your other stuff. So, absolutely. Good points, Dave. We'll be back. To the liberal authorities, they tell us how to think. Thank you, Salon. No thanks on endorsing pedophilia and embracing it. I know, though, you've got the kids in schools. They'll learn, won't they? Just like the Violence Policy Center one time was quoted in the paper saying, we don't care if Jones caught bribery at the state house and blew all these bills sky high. They said, we got your kids in public education. <laughs> that was a quote, we got your kids. Just the arrogance of this filth will be their undoing. I want to jam in a few more calls. Paul Joseph Watson will be hosting the fourth hour from his, her Britannic Majesty's command base uh, over in London. A new article and video is up on Infowars.com. Kit Daniels reports, man debunks clock kid by recreating Ahmed's clock in 20 seconds. It was the guts of a 1979 digital clock put in there to, well, we know what to do. So he can be the big, wonderful, delicate genius uh, over there at the White House with Obama to have a stunt. Turkey responsible for flood of illegal immigrants in Europe. Europe, Germans media covering up rapes committed by Muslim migrants. They're going to cover up the PBP's operations as well. That's just some of the news up on Infowars.com. Uh, before I jam in a few final calls here, before the fourth hour, uh, briefly, Survival Shield Nation Iodine X2 Deep Earth Crystal Source is the cleanest, purest iodine you're going to find. It turns bright blue on paper, not red, because that's what real crystals are. They're purple-blue. Uh, and what it does in the body is it goes through and just grabs toxins. It fills your th different glands like the thyroid <clears throat> with the good halogens, the bad halogen, fluoride, other stuff can't get in there. Go read the reviews at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. In fact, I never read reviews anymore, and they bring them into me every day, and I've been dropping the ball not doing that. This is going to sell out. So if you want to get it, it it's going to sell out this week, I believe. Then it'll be a month or more till we get more in. Uh, and that's not a sales tactic. It's just the truth, though it does sell it more when it's selling out. And you can uh, go read about it. It has a five-star rating on many of them. 4.8 is the average. And this is uh, what some of the folks have to say. Uh, Logan in Phoenix, Arizona says, I take six drops daily first thing in the morning, and the results are terrific. Uh, here's Burlington, Wisconsin, Barrett. Says super easy to use, three drops on the tongue in the morning, tastes great. If I don't have time to take coffee, at least I know the five 
Check it, so I'll get the energy I need to get going. Buy this product. Thank you for your support. Check it out for yourself. Both those are five-star reviews at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. They've extended it to October 1st, and then it's over. The best deals on My Patriot Supply food ever at InfoWarsStore.com. They're private labeling the exact same food, just with a sticker. They can contractually give us an even lower price if it's private labeled. This is the lowest price they've ever offered. They already have the best lowest prices. So after you know next week, it'll still be a great deal at InfoWarsStore.com. But this is high-quality, storable food. You need it today. Only a crazy person uh, would not be prepared right now. Check out the other amazing products like Knockout Sleep Aid, Methylcobalamin, Vitamin B12, Secret 12, uh, Prostigard, high-quality Mediterranean organic concentrated oil of oregano capsules, and more at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And in closing, I'm going to come back in five minutes, take a few calls, and hand the baton to Watson for the fourth hour. Your purchase supports and makes this broadcast possible, so I want to thank you, and I want to encourage you to spread the word about this transmission to friends and family. Look, I'm just telling it like it is, teleprompter free, just a wild Texan who doesn't want to be a slave. And I think you want to join me in that fight for human liberty. All right, some stations don't carry it. Fourth hour coming up, Infowars.com forward slash show. Thank you. We are back broadcasting, transmitting worldwide. Paul Joseph Watson from London, England will be joining us to host the fourth hour in T-minus eight minutes. Right now, let's go to Frank in Indiana. Thanks for holding her on the air. Alex. Yes, sir. Hey, a uh, couple things real quick. One, Pope's coming in uh, today, right? A couple hours? Yes, his lordship has arrived. <laughs> All right. So today is the Day of Atonement, right? Lord God, on the issue of the Day of Atonement. It is today from sundown to sunset, or uh, sunset to sunrise. So people got to get their hearts right at the end. Um, they have the, uh, the harbinger, the seventh harbinger, all right? I don't think something's going to happen big, yes, in this month, next month, whatever, but... People need to well, watch a lot of big Israel. stuff's already happening. We're just insulated in America. All Hades is breaking loose around the world. I completely agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying something with Israel. Every time something with Israel happens, it happens to the U.S. too. Yeah. So something Frank, like I got to jump. I, I barely understand what you're saying, but I got some of it. Try to call back on a better headset next time. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Augusta, uh, we're going to see if we're able to go to that caller from Alabama. Uh, are you there this time? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that, Alex. No, no, you're okay. All Thanks right. for holding. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I was just wanted to say that, you know, congratulations on the money, Bob. That was awesome. It just thank shows you. you what the power of the people, you know, can do raising. Please, congratulations to you, the listeners. Thank you. Hey, it's awesome. So, I'm, you know, I totally agree with all of the calls. And what people need to understand is that this is really good versus evil. Um, and, and I think that the evil is now... Uh, you know, arriving in Europe, soon to arrive here. And, uh, you know, we really have to stand up against uh, this tyranny. This this pope is the new world order pope. pope. And, uh, you know, on, on a good note, though, I wanted to say that I'm a cancer survivor. So I bought four months in your products have really helped me um, to feel better, to get back to my normal life. Um, I really love the nascent iodine. Um, I've been on the oxy powder, secret 12, and... Uh, Hey, that Beyond Tangy Tangerine is delicious. So, uh, you know, I just want to encourage everybody to put on the badge of courage and uh, stand up for children. You know, the Bible really tells us that if anybody hurts a child, it's better for him to, you know, be drowned, having something hung around his neck. And I think it's our duty, our moral obligation to not only stand up against this Planned Parenthood uh, debacle, murderous uh, people that they are organization. You know, our governor here, Governor Bentley, he uh, defunded Planned Parenthood for a time, and then the Mafia Obama administration threatened that they were going to cut, you know, Medicaid and Medicare and things like that. So, it just, sure. you know, we're up against a lot, but it's going to take We're up more. against a lot. I mean, worldwide depression by design. Our guests predicted that they would not um, get rid of QE Unlimited right away, and they haven't, so we'll see what unfolds. Thank you. Time for one more caller. And if the other callers want to hold, you can probably talk to Watson. We need to check with him. Uh, he's probably covering a, whole, covering a whole bunch of different subjects, I know. He's got, actually got a guest on about the migrant influx from Germany. Uh, but Tom in Ecuador, I didn't realize you were calling from down there. I'd have gone to you earlier. Thanks for holding. You got the last minute and a half. Hey, the 
the Pope was here the last time he was in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, our hundred-year-old uh, Freemason uh, encyclopedia says uh, under Pope that it's he's the master bridge builder. And so you'll see him uh, all through his life just keep building bridges, building bridges uh, almost at an insane rate. Uh, PSYOPs that they did here is the government-owned airlines, TAMI, uh, from New York back to Ecuador uh, a couple of weeks ago. They had uh, his face uh, in a rainbow background plastered all over the airplane, inside the compartments, above the old bulkheads. Every place you could put a full-size sticker, they put one. Even on the outside of the plane, as you come into the entrance of the plane, there's a big sticker. Yeah, the globalists so are had. fully taken over the Catholic Church, and this is their move. So they're now rebranding, and it's wonderful. So the PSYOPs is, is uh, full speed ahead. Uh, and the, the dollar, Ecuador is the only dollarized country in South America, so... It's interesting to see that uh, umbilical cord relationship, which is dastardly. Great point, Tom. Call back again soon. Sorry I missed where you were calling from. I'd have spent more time with you. Thank you to everybody else. Paul Watson's coming up from London. He's got a reporter in Germany. Stay with us. We're back. The Alex Jones Show live, fourth hour overdrive. I'm your host, Paul Joseph Watson. We've got Leanne McAdoo popping in with some news updates over the course of the next hour. But first, we're going to cross live to Germany to talk to geopolitical analyst and author Alex Banesh, and you can find his work over on recentr.com. Alex, welcome to the show. Okay, we're going to reconnect to Alex. I just posted a, an article over on Prison Planet Twitter, which you can check out. Now, we've had these articles over the past three weeks. The rape crisis that is now engulfing Germany as a result of this migrant influx is really now reaching epidemic proportions. Police in Germany kept quiet about migrant raping a 13-year-old girl so as not to, quote, legitimize critics of mass migration. And we're going to talk to Alex about this when we get him back online because he's there in Germany. He's talking to people in Germany about this situation, about how the media is covering it up, which relates to my top story on Infowars.com this morning which is that the German broadcaster ZDF, which is like a true crime uh, program that airs on one of Germany's top networks over there in Europe, they basically had a case where a Muslim migrant who came over in the last three months raped a young girl who, who, who was a prime suspect in raping a, a young girl. They decided against airing the story because they said it might offend Muslim migrants coming over to Germany, and it might, quote, inflame tensions. Now, this is not in isolation. We've had numerous stories about this over the past few weeks. Now we've got more, and I only just found out about this in the last hour or so. So we've got this 13-year-old girl who was raped in a migrant camp in Germany. The police sat on the story for three months because they said they didn't want to legitimize critics of mass migration. No concern about the actual victim, no concern about the other women and children in those camps who are being preyed upon. We're now seeing articles about them charging 10 euros each to rape these women and children. They're being forced into prostitution. Another case in the town of Mering, a Bavarian town over there in Germany, where police are now telling parents as a result of another rape, which occurred on September 11, just about 10, 11 days ago, the police are now telling parents in that German town not to let their children go, go outside unaccompanied. We also had the case in Pocking, another German town, where girls are being told not to wear shorts or not to wear short skirts because a mig there's a migrant camp attached to that school in its gymnasium. And so now the head teacher wrote a letter to the parents saying, we're not going to allow girls to wear shirts, we're not shorts, we're not going to allow them to wear short skirts, because they could provoke attacks from these Muslim migrants, because they might offend these Muslim migrants. And the media, although this is being picked up on in, in you know, local media, the major media networks in Germany are not broadcasting this. So it's unsurprising that polls which have come out in Germany suggest that upwards of 60% of Germans support this migrant invasion. 
which of course will be 800,000 